Good morning everybody, it's Monday the 17th of June, I'm in the bedroom, I'm sitting in bed, I'm not in bed, I am up, I am doing stuff, I'm working on my laptop, editing a video together, I've got to go and do some shopping for my mum in a bit, and then I'll go down and see how she's doing. Everything's good, um, I was obviously a bit down yesterday because it was Father's Day, uh, but other than that I'm okay, I'm about to edit together last week's vlog, which is a weird one, so it's just going to be called a vlog of sorts. This is a weekly vlog, um, with... Uh, a lot of reading and colouring in it simply because like I said a lot of the time my mum's helping her out making sure she's okay I don't want to film down there particularly I might show dad's garden because I've got to get a gardener in to uh, sort it out because it's again a little bit overgrown um, but in general you know I'm all right I'm doing okay I'm, I miss him very much I'm not gonna lie it hurts it hurts a lot but he wouldn't want me to be sad, he would want me to be happy and have a good life. Because that's all he ever wanted. And he was the best dad. He was the best dad. So now I've got to make sure my mum's okay and look after her till it's her time. Which hopefully is a long way off. She says she's not planning on going anywhere, but then nor was he. Um, so yeah, like I said, I showed you my um, colouring book collection and stuff yesterday. If you've got any questions, obviously ask. Like, why do you have so many? You'll never colour them in your lifetime. And I'm like, I know, but I'm a collector and I I collect things. So, I mean, like this month I've bought a couple of colouring books to the collection, and, but I've also bought a few Marilyn bits for the Marilyn collection. So those I will be showing in another video and I will also be showing them on my Tiki Tok. Anyway, excuse me. I'm going to crack on with this uh, video editing now so I can get this the other vlog up for you. Eek! I've just got back from Mum's where I've sorted out her tea. She's happy and settled for the night. I did go in the charity shop earlier and I bought back another five books. Four paperbacks and the Miriam Argyle's, I can't pronounce her name, autobiography, this much is true, which I'm looking forward to reading because I love autobiographies. Especially for somebody like that who's absolutely brilliant. Um, here's Cute Gnomes. Here's Ava Brown. There are some nice pictures in here. Like this, this, this guy having a bubble bath. He's quite cute. I'm going to go through all the things. I'm going to have a look through it and decide which ones I'm going to colour and, and post. Oh, I have got to do the other one, so I might try and get on with that one as well. But yeah, it's been a nice day actually. I'm a bit warm. It's a bit warm here. I'm hot. Anyway, I am going to go downstairs and I'm going to have tea with Jennifer. I know you can't see me. I'm like this, and it's, I've got to hold it out here. And Paul, too, think that's the bookcase reflected in the mirror, by the way. It's not another bookcase, it's the one that's reflected in the mirror. So, yeah, the, the bookcase is actually in, in front of me. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you a bit later when I will see what I'm going to be reading. Well, I know what I'm going to be reading tonight. I'm going to be reading War Horse. And maybe a few chapters of Fallen Peace. Because I'm actually enjoying this book. So. Hello, everybody. It is actually Wednesday. If you're wondering what happened to Tuesday... It just vanished. No, I couldn't find the camera. I forgot I'd put it into my bag with all my journal stuff and brought it downstairs. I'm an idiot, but everything's fine. Um, I did read a few chapters of War Horse yesterday. Um, what else? I read a book called The Mother's Secret, which I had years ago from NetGalley and never got around to reviewing it. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to read it and put a sort of short review and a rating on the good the Net Valley. Net galley sites just so I can get it off there and it'll you know I'm gonna try and get through all them before I request any more from Net Galley. I'm gonna I requested too many and then forgot what I'd requested. But I have I, I read it and it, you know it was okay but it's about this woman who she's 37 years old and she's never used her birth certificate. She's never seen her birth certificate. And I'm wondering how has she gone through 30, 37 years with not having a birth certificate because you need a birth certificate to open a bank account. She never opened a bank account. Does I mean, she has got a partner. They're not married because they never felt the need, which is fair enough. I mean, me and Paul aren't married. Um, so she wouldn't have needed, you know. So do, do her wages just go straight into his bank account? And another thing, she drives a car. Now, as far as I'm aware, even in the 1990s, which is when she would have got her driving license, assuming she started to learn to drive as soon as she was old enough. I, I did, and, I, and then I stopped. I'm pretty sure you need a birth certificate because you need some form of ID to get a driving license. So I'm a little bit confused on that because, yeah, did she never pass a test? Is she driving illegally? I, I don't know. 
but yeah, so that confused me on that, but uh, I will uh, be updating my net galley at some point today or tomorrow just to uh, uh, write those things in. I'm, I'm not the only person who wondered that. Another person wondered how you could go 37 years without needing a birth certificate. Perhaps if she'd have been, they'd have set it earlier when she was 21, it wouldn't have been so bad. But the whole point was that she never did anything because her mother didn't want her to. She wanted to just stay with her all the time. And the reason for that is in the book. Uh, but it just didn't make any sense. Anyway, I've got a few things to do and I'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, it is Thursday, whatever it is of June. I have no idea. It's 20th, 20th, oh my gosh. How fast is this month going? It's my birthday soon, yay. I'm doing washing as usual. Sorting out all the tons of washing I have had. A massive order coming from Shein. Not the best company, I know, but I needed shorts for my holiday. So that's what I've got. Loads of shorts, and I will show you them later because there's all some Marilyn stuff in there. Shh. I think Paul's bought me some t-shirts from Shein. I bought sweaters. Stuff you don't need this time of year. Simply because I want them and they were cheap because they were on um, clearance. So if I spent about 70 quid on they got tons of stuff, including some for Jennifer. Which is actually buried under her clothes, but I'll show it to her later. Anyway, I better get on with this washing so I can go and get Jen. Oh God, she wants knickknacks, so I've got to go to the shop as well. Oh dear, it's never ending. I tell you, loving it though. And I'm colouring in my gnome from Ava Brown, so I love that. I think the, the gnomes are really cute. Actually, this this book of gnomes I think is my favourite so far. Like, it was hard to decide which one to colour, but I've picked a really cute one. So I'll show you that a bit later on when I've done the um, rest of the stuff I've got to do. So it's Friday afternoon, we've just been down to the school to get Jennifer and to go and have a look at the classroom and all the work they've been doing through the springs term. It's very good. She's got dip dabs. She loves dip dabs, don't you babe? Yeah, we don't want to see that, it's horrible. It's almost as bad as when she gets her bottom out. <laughs> mm. I, so yeah. So, I won't do it, I won't do it. So last night I finished reading War Horse, which was brilliant. I loved that book. And I sticked up my bum at her. Oh yeah, thank you for sticking your bum at me. Yeah, she's a horrible child. <laughs> and they've got a big gap in there, look, where the teeth are missing. I'm sure they grow back soon. The new ones 40, well. 40 fell out. Not only one gully didn't, you had one come out one night and because you bashed yourself in the playground or somebody ran into you. And then another one came out the next night, didn't it? My teeth are really clean. <laughs> She's funny. Yeah. So yes, I finished reading War Horse. So I'm going to start something else tonight, I'm not sure what. But I do want to read a few pages of War and Peace, if I'm allowed. How much is this age? How much is this video long? I don't know yet until I put it together. Oh. She does ask the most bizarre questions. How dare you? How dare you? Don't wake me up. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to the tower, okay? What tower? Newport. Up the tower. Oh no. Oh yes. I'm joking. <laughs> and then we might see Nanny Sally afterwards and the doggies. Look how bright my lips are, even though that's not that bright. Yeah, no, there's the, the camera as well. And this lollipop is very bright. Anyway, we're going to go now because I'm going to do something and she's going to shush. Hey. Good girl, really. Saturday and we've just popped into town to do a return and get my sunglasses fixed. So now it's time for a cheeky Nando, isn't it? You're having a colour. You can't watch and colour at the same time. Bless you. Time. I don't want I'm going to do it later. He's deciding what he's going to have to eat, darling. Ow. You're having mac and cheese? Shut the Sunday evening. And yes, there's not been a lot of vlogging today. We've all got a bit of a cold, haven't we, babe? Jennifer was feeling really poorly today. And me and Paul are sniffling. Yeah, Jen, you've got nothing on. Stay away from the camera. I don't want you on there with your top off. It's terrible. I'm going to put the blanket over you. Put the you. blanket over you. That's better. There you are. <laughs> so she wants to say hello. She still feels a bit warm, but hopefully she'll be all right for school tomorrow because it's only a sniffle. It's not the end of the world. Oh, you're so cute. Look yeah. at you. One thing I did realise yesterday is how tall she's getting. Oh, my God. So yeah, um, I haven't read very much in the last couple of days. Didn't read anything yesterday. The night before I did read a little bit of War and Peace. But tonight I just want to snuggle down and get some sleep because I'm tired. You tired? You're never tired. You've been watching too much Doctor Who again, haven't you? Um, 
She's like a proper little hoovian. <laughs> what are you going to get if you manage to do the whole rest of term without a day off sick? Can you say it? Screwdriver. A sonic screwdriver. <laughs> but you have to try and get to school the rest of the term. It feels a bit warm. but uh... oh, um, My leg is all getting tired because I'm on my knees. Right, well go to sleep then. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do it all again. Love you guys.